everyone this is tiffany here i also go by t on the move and tomorrow is going to make it officially one year since i have moved to georgia and i am just so in love with this place so a little backstory i was born in jamaica i moved to new york as a child i was living in new york for like more than 20 years and i just wanted a change and i've been visiting georgia for many many years now for maybe like about eight years and i just fell in love with georgia from the very first visit and then i was just like okay i'm living in new york i'm there for more than 20 years i want to change i'm like where should i move to and the first place that came to mind was georgia like i said i loved it from the very first visit so i've been coming in different seasons like i came in winter i came in summer i came in fall i've just been visiting different times and Fun fact about Georgia, one reason why I even wanted to move here, I didn't even think it got cold in Georgia, but that is not true at all. It does get cold here sometimes, but nonetheless, I love Georgia. And it's just been such a journey since I've been here. Another thing too, I moved here without not even having a job, okay? And a lot of people are just like, oh my gosh, you have so much faith. How could you move somewhere without not having a job? I wanted to move that badly that I didn't want not having a job to keep me in New York and not have me here in Georgia. So I moved here to Georgia. I didn't have a job because I knew the God that I serve is not going to let me come here and just be jobless for however long. So it took me like about one month until I found a job. And let me tell you guys, like that one month was real. Okay. Like I was going out there walking the pavement and stuff like that like i remember like i was just giving my resumes to like random people on the street and stuff like that like one time i was at a um a post office and the guy that was driving the truck i was just like um hey uh, i don't know if you know if they're hiring here at the post office and i gave him my resume and then i'll just go to like buildings and stuff like that and drop up my resumes and stuff like that but eventually i linked up with somebody on linkedin and you know something came through i got a job and I'm just so grateful to God for that. But in any case, guys, I've been doing so much since I've been here in Georgia for one year. One thing that I've been doing is Meals on Wheels, okay? And what is Meals on Wheels? It's basically a company, a corporation, that gives meals to elderly people, to senior citizens. So uh, volunteers such as myself, we come and we pick the food up and then we go and take it to the senior citizens' homes. And we do this every Saturday. We get the food, we deliver it. And right now I'm actually here at Meals on Wheels Atlanta. They don't open until 8 a.m. Right now it's 7.36. And you guys can come with me. I can show you guys what I'm talking about. As of right now, you can see cars are basically lined up, waiting to be served. Oh, the line is about to be open. <laughs> Thank you, Daddy God. Oh man, so I'm about to get my route now, guys. Good Hi, good morning. I don't have a designated route. You don't have a designated route. No. Give me one second. No problem. I like your shirt. Thank you. Seven people that I got to deliver to. Okay, so wow, three people live in the same apartment, which is pretty good, and two people. Wow, another wow, four people. So even though I have seven people that I'm gonna be delivering to, I'm only going to three different apartments because three people live in one apartment and then another three people live in one apartment. So I'm only gonna be going to three three apartments today. So that's awesome. That's great. So I should be usually takes me like about 40 minutes to deliver my route, but because I'm only going to three places today it'll probably take me maybe like 20 minutes and what it is too with the meals on wheels when they give you your routes the the homes that you go to sometimes they're not even more than like six minutes seven minutes away from each other so that's that's a great great thing they don't give you like let's say somebody that lives in marietta somebody that lives in canton somebody that lives in um let's say for example estelle like all these people here all these senior citizens they all live in atlanta so that's the great great thing that you don't have to be traveling 50 miles apart they're literally like right in the same neighborhood so as you guys can see right here we have to have our trunks empty so that when we do pull up 
you know, the volunteers will put the boxes that we had to deliver to the senior citizens in the trunk of the car. If our trunk is full, we can open up the back of the car. Guys, I'm telling you, you guys can also follow Meals on Wheels Atlanta on Instagram. I'm going to leave their info down below so you can follow them. Guys, it's a great organization and you can also donate to Meals on Wheels. You know, they are... They're an organization that I can put my money on. They do what they say they're gonna do, and I just really, really love them, and I'm so thankful that I'm a volunteer for Meals on Wheels. Guys, so one fa um, famous place here in Georgia is Martin Luther King Jr. House. As I was traveling to make my first delivery, I was realizing that I'm passing the museum. So this is the museum right here, Martin Luther King Jr. Museum, and since I'm so close by, I might as well just pass by his house. So one thing for most people who don't know, um, Martin Luther King Jr. house here in Atlanta, Georgia, turn right on is Auburn Avenue a place where then people can left. go. It's a place where people can go and it's a it's a free tour. So you can go inside the house and they give you like, you know, like details of, you know, where he was. F fun fact, Martin Luther King Jr., he was born in his house along with his siblings but anyways guys we're just gonna pass by real quick and then i'm gonna continue with my meals on wheels delivery all right <laughs> so guys this is the museum right here martin luther king jr uh, museum guys so i'm here at the famous martin luther king jr house the man that changed history and this is the house right here. This is the famous Martin Luther King Jr. house. Anybody, if you're visiting Georgia, make sure you stop and come and visit Martin Luther King Jr. house. It is free of charge, okay? Free 99. Come and visit Martin Luther King Jr. house. It is history right here off Auburn Avenue in Georgia. What else is there to say? Martin Luther King, we miss you. So right now it is 9.13. I have delivered all seven meals for Meals on Wheels and it was great. It was really, really great. It was also fast because I had my friend Vashni <laughs> that was helping me to deliver. So today was real, real um, fast and easy. But anyways, there are so many things to do here in Georgia, like so many things. So. I'm going to have a busy day today because, again, tomorrow is going to make it one year that I'm celebrating my one-year anniversary here in Georgia. And I'm going to be celebrating with a paint party. I'm going to be vlogging throughout the day so you guys can see what I'm doing. And I just want to give you guys some facts about Georgia. Two facts about Georgia. One, it rains a lot in Georgia, okay? It, like, to the point where I can almost, like, predict that it's gonna rain so like let's say if it's raining at like 10 o'clock it'll rain for like maybe like five minutes and then it'll stop raining and then maybe like around like 10 30 it'll start raining again so it rains periodically throughout the day right so that's the first fact about georgia it rains a lot the second fact about georgia see fact number one okay it rains a lot in georgia you need to have more than one umbrella have one in your car have one at home have one at work just have umbrellas all over the place because that's how much it rains in georgia but on a serious note though another fact about georgia is that there is always something to do like right now i just finished all my routes with meals on wheels i'm going to a farm right now and i didn't even remember until I looked at my calendar that I had to go to the farm. So it's my first time going to the farm here in Georgia. I don't know what to expect. So you guys can just come and just experience that experience with me. Guys, so I wanted to let you guys know one of the reasons why I fell in love in Georgia from the very first visit, which was like about eight, nine or 10 years ago. What made me fell in love with Georgia was the red dirt. Okay, look at this right here. You see this red dirt? When I came here and I saw this red dirt, it just made me know that I was not in New York. I was, it made me feel like I was like on, like on a different soil of some sort. And I just fell in love with the red dirt. And right now, what is it doing? It's getting ready to rain, as is usual in Georgia. But you know what? I love the rain. Let it rain. Can't do anything about it. Again, guys, make sure you have at least four umbrellas because you're going to need it. 
in Georgia. I'm here now at the farm and I just saw a friend of mine. His name is Derek and I met Derek here in Georgia. Hello guys. Um, hey, I met Tiffany uh, probably like a couple months ago at uh, this church called Resurrection House. Um, I'm a native here in Atlanta, Georgia. I'm from Atlanta, Georgia. And um, Tip, man, she's a great person, man. Great person so far since I've met her, you know. But um, yeah, this is her first year and uh, I'm glad she met me. I'm glad I met a person like her because she's very sweet spirit and very free spirit. And she's truly a woman of God, so yeah. And that's it, guys. Let's see what else we're gonna do today on the farm. We out. Say bye. Bye. So guys, I'm here at the farm, trying to be fancy. Came in my sandals, but dirt already got in my feet. So I'm about to go back to my car and change into sneakers and socks. Now we appropriate, got the sneakers going on. Now we are ready to pick some fruits and veggies. What we doing here, Chip? What we doing? Right now, we just taking out the weeds so that the cauliflower can grow. Yeah. Guys, these right here are elderberries, and the farmer who owns this farm just told us that he's going to make us take some home so we can plant it and make our own elderberries at home. So I'm just so excited. This whole farming thing today has been so, so, so great. Like I said, guys, there's always something to do in Georgia. Guys, so it's almost time for me to leave the farm. It has been a joy. I actually also got stung by a bee. So <laughs> that's celebrating my one year here in Georgia. It's all good. Welcome. And um, this, is, <laughs> this is Desmond. He's one of the owners here at the farm. So you could just tell us about the farm, like when did you get started, what is it about? How is everybody doing? My name is Desmond. This is Chris here, my partner. We, uh, we are the co-owners here at Gratitude Botanical Farm. We're a micro farm located here on the west side of Atlanta. Uh, we're a true urban farm. You could actually hear and see 285 from where we are right now. And we, if you look up, we're under the power line. So we're right here in the thick of it. Um, we're just a, a farm that has organic practices. We grow fruits, flowers, vegetables, uh, veggies, um, herbs, things of that nature. And we're usually out here every day. You can follow us on Instagram at Gratitude Botanical Farm. Uh, you can check out our website at gratitudeatl.com. We do have volunteer time like every fourth Saturday of the month. Uh, we just pay attention to our Instagram and our website and, and we'll give a heads up on that at least three weeks in advance. And uh, you can sign up there for that via Eventbrite or you can just contact us directly uh, on our on DM. So uh, we do have weekly shares available for those that are local and we also have products such as elderberry syrup, candles, and our uh, newly minted hot sauce that uh, is available via our website and we can deliver a few of those things uh, but as far as the produce, that's all local. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, Desmond, thanks for having me. Thank you for coming out. No problem. No problem. <laughs> and I, I, I pray that heals up well. No, I, I'm not. It's just a bee. Oh my gosh! Take a look One at it, guys. Hour. <laughs> it already started to to bubble. <laughs> I'm just here at Walmart getting a few things for the paint party tomorrow and. One more thing I love about Georgia is they have a lot of Walmarts, which is a store that I shop at a lot. Compared to New York, New York only had maybe five Walmarts in all of New York. I'm not really trying to bash New York. I love New York, but I'm just in love with Georgia. Like there's literally not anything to really hate about Georgia. I love you, Georgia.
So guys, today is August 30th, 2020. It's a Sunday. It's officially one year since I've been in Georgia. And what better way to celebrate my one year in Georgia than to go to church and praise and worship my daddy God. Guys, so I am here at Painting with a Twist. They have many locations here in Georgia. It's a place where you come and paint, just in case if you don't know. And this location is in Sandy Springs. The owner, her name is Mia, and she's from Jersey, and she is just so nice. So if you're here in Georgia, you want to get your painting on, come and check out Painting with a Twist in Sandy Springs. Again, I'm going to leave the info down below, so look for the info of her location, okay? So let's go inside to the party. We take a lot of cheesecake. Mm. Because those sponge cakes that they serve at wedding, I like the frosting more than the cake itself. Mm. I don't know. Yeah. And if I were to just go with a regular cake, my favorite is actually carrot cake. Mm. Like vanilla and chocolate, I'm not. I'll eat them if you offer them, but I'm not like, oh my god, I need to have chocolate. <laughs> It's been such a long, long day. Had to go to church and then, you know, had the paint party. And now I'm finally home. And as per usual, it is raining here in Georgia. Like I said, you guys, you better get your umbrellas ready because it rains a lot here in Georgia. Let me tell you guys something. When I decided that I wanted to move to Georgia, I only had three cousins and like a handful of friends. And maybe for some people, that's not an, a lot of people to know to move somewhere. But for me, even if I didn't know anyone in Georgia, I would have still moved here because I just felt a tugging on my heart to move here. And I'm telling you guys, like within like maybe like four or five months, I started meeting people. And that was actually because of church. You know, so the church that I go to, it's a very big church and I got into a small group. And then that small group will have events and you will start going to events and meeting people. And then one small group will put you onto another small group. I know so many people now, it's not even funny. I can't even count how many people I've met within one year. And it's all because of church and just being in a small group and getting put, put onto so many other stuff. But again, I love, 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 love New York. And my friend Vashni can tell you more than anybody else about how she feels about me moving to Georgia. So Tiffany told a group of us that she wanted to move to Atlanta. We didn't agree to it. We were like, why you want to move to Atlanta? Because, you know, we're your family in New York. Why would you leave us? You know, what did we do wrong to you? Right? You don't even have anybody. You don't know nobody. Why would you move by yourself here? And, you know, we later on supported her, her dream. We help her move, and she moved without a job, y'all. Like she had a lot of balls. Like she moved without a without a job for a whole month. She didn't have a job, but later on she got a job. You know, thank God for that. And um, I'm so happy that everything went well, just the way she just the way she planned it. You know, she moved. She made new friends, and um, she found churches different churches and stuff i'm happy she she does a lot of different activities every weekend and um she's just growing she's just growing you know we we visit her every now and then so i'm happy for her happy one year anniversary can't believe it's one year one year went by so quick so so quick yeah i'm happy for you tiff i love you Honestly, again, like I said, I don't miss New York, but I miss the people there. And I just love Georgia. And basically, in the end, all I really want to tell you guys is if you want to do something, if you want to travel somewhere, if you want to start a new company, like don't let fear stop you from doing what you want to do. If you have something on your heart, pray about it and just know that God is going to work it out. And just to round everything up, I love Georgia a lot. Like, I don't see myself living anywhere but Georgia. I fell in love with Georgia from my very first visit, which was like eight years ago. And don't get me wrong, I love New York. 
like I believe maybe like two thirds of my life was in New York. So a lot of my experience, a lot of things that I have learned in my life, you know, like I learned it when I was in New York. So New York will always have a place in my heart, but I just don't see myself living in New York again. And I hope nobody in New York is, you know, like about to write a hate mail or anything like that, you know, because I love you guys, but I'm in love with Georgia. And anyhow, guys, the reason why I even had my own um, paint and sip party is because life is very, very short and we should just, we should, we should celebrate little things like the other day i was watching the show on netflix called um get even and this girl she's in high school i believe and she was about to win um she was about to get captain and her parents were so happy and they were gonna they did like a little celebration kind of for her just because she was about to be captain of the soccer team so if somebody can celebrate you know being captain of a soccer team why not celebrate you know one year living somewhere or if you guys want to celebrate anything like life is sh too short don't think that anything is too small to celebrate now don't celebrate little 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 things like let's say for example if you go to dollar tree and you buy 10 pens don't have a, a pen party <laughs> you know i just feel like like i'm that's not what i'm trying to say but when you have like little you know um momentums in your life when you have you know things that you know are are great i feel like you should celebrate it like um you know life is very short like look at chadwick boseman you know the the young man from black panther that passed away like while he was doing black panther you know like he was battling cancer you know and what i'm taking from that is just you know like life is too short and you should just do what you love you know so it doesn't matter what it is that you're going through if you're having something just celebrate it because life is worth celebrating because you never know if today is going to be your last day forget about tomorrow you never know if today is going to be a life it's going to be your last day so celebrate life celebrate the little things celebrate the big thing my friends you know like jj came out you know from new york to to, to to come for the party and i'm so happy for that my friend vashni also you know is here in town from new york as well and honestly maybe one reason why i don't even really miss new york like that to be honest is because my friends visit here so much I feel like New York is in Georgia. Like my friend JJ, for example, he's been to Georgia five times in six months. Okay, five times in six months. I think he even knows Georgia more than I do. Okay, so because I have a piece of New York here with me, you know, I feel like I don't really um, miss New York like that because it's right here with me. But in any case, New York, always gonna love you. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to keep that person all that you do. Stay blessed and bless somebody else. You can also follow me on Instagram at T on the Move on Snapchat. I'm also T on the Move as well.